tip number 16 use the same number of pins and paths between schematic symbol and footprint i'm going to explain some components they not only have the pins which you really need to connect uh, to your circuit but they have also different kind of pins i think one of the best examples are connectors yeah where you not only have the pins like here usb pins which you need to connect to the processor but you also have pins like this shield pins yeah here you can see them too and also here and uh, also there are different kind of components like this one and uh, they have multiple pins like this here they are exactly they are connected to the same net but there are multiple pins three here two here or they have pins like epad these are also the kind of special pins some people they try to hide these kind of pins or they try to group them so instead of three face pins they only try to put here one face pin instead of putting the epad here they try to hide it instead of uh, you know placing these shield pins here they try to hide them i do not recommend to do it what i recommend is always when you create footprint and you put there all these paths then put exactly same number of paths and exactly the same paths into schematic symbol because in the schematic symbol then you can connect these paths the way which you need and what is really really important is when you are checking the schematic you clearly see how all these pins are connected you clearly see that these shield pins they are connected to ground you clearly see you correctly connected all the three face pins you see that epad is connected to ground if you hide these pins the checking the schematic is much more complicated and you really would like to be sure the pins all the pins in your schematic are connected correctly you know when you are again when you are building a board which is going to cost you uh, thousands of uh, dollars to build you don't want to make this kind of silly mistake like you connect you do not connect epad because it was a hidden pin and without connecting epad some of the components some of the chips are not going to work yeah i'm speaking about this because i've seen schematics uh, with hidden pins and i receive many emails where people are trying to where people are asking how to you know hide the pins i always tell them do not hide them there is no reason to hide epad there is no reason to try to put or group these pins into one why i guess because uh, you know they maybe they would like to make it look nicer again if i see this epad here what's going to happen are my eyes going to fall off my head or i don't know what's going to happen nothing see my eyes are here ipad is here nothing happened i'm sure you understand okay so tip number 60 use the same number of pins and paths between schematic symbol and footprint yeah all the paths in the footprint show them in the schematic symbol why you want to clearly see from schematic where each pin is connected it's very important when checking schematic and connections